Ilhan Omar and her, can I say, likely um, position when it comes to supporting Nicolas Maduro out of Venezuela. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go ahead and uh, watch this when it comes back. I'll get your take on it as well. What do you think about that? Nicolas Maduro is a socialist dictator who is slaughtering his own people in the streets. Uh, Venezuela has turned into the cesspool of the Western Hemisphere. There's mass starvation. People are eating their dogs and cats. There's no food. Uh, his troops are burning supplies being donated at the border so that people can't get food. Um, it's a horrible, horrible regime supported by almost every member of the left-wing socialist progressive group. Bernie Sanders still loves Nicolas Maduro, as does Ilhan Omar. And yet, and yet, in spite of the mass murder going on and hundreds of thousands if not several million people in the process of starving within that country because socialism has destroyed it she takes time to attack APAC mm -hmm. as controlling the US Congress you know I looked it up Jermaine APAC American Israel Public Affairs Committee is nonpartisan they take uh, no interest in politics in terms of Republicans or Democrats they educate about the strategic relationship of Israel uh, to the United States. It is such a small group of all the lobbyists registered to talk to Congress, they're 147th on the list of money given. I mean, mm -hmm. they're behind South Korea, they're behind the recording industry, they're behind truckers, they're behind the NRA, behind teachers, behind shipfitters, behind iron workers. I mean, there's nobody that you've ever heard of that lobbies that isn't above APAC. That's how little, little money changes hands. And yet, what does she do? She picks out the 147th on the list. Why? Because they support Israel. And she's made it very clear she hates Israel. You mentioned that restaurant, uh, the David Duke thing a minute ago. Mm -hmm. She spoke a couple days ago, Jermaine, at a restaurant where literally the Ku Klux Klan and white nationalists hang out. Now you'd think, well, what's she doing with the former head of the Ku Klux Klan, David Duke, who was also uh, a neo-Nazi organizer? Well, the fact is both radical Islam and white supremacists hate Jews. Yeah. So strange bedfellows, they get together and hang out. And she bashes Israel and David Duke says that she's a great friend of the occupation <laughs> sorry, the occupation resistance. You can't make it up. Which he calls Zog, the Zionist occupationist government that controls Washington secretly. They're all controlled by Jews. And so they want a revolution to overthrow America. The Islamists want a revolution to overthrow America. The solution, however, of these two groups, right, 
One is to have the caliphate control, meaning strict Sharia, and the other group wants to kick out everybody that has any color, which is you and me and most people that we know, we have to leave when the Nazis take over. And then I guess their idea is the Muslims are going to fight the Nazis in the final battle. Meanwhile, they're best friends. And meanwhile, he sticks up for it. You know, I should also add in terms of great anti-Semites, um, the most infamous Jew hater in America is Louis Farrakhan of the Nation of Islam. Yep. And he has been announcing from his pulpit recently that Ilan Omar should not apologize. He's glad she never apologized. And she's a very brave woman that has the Nation of Islam behind her, which she seems to be quite proud of, sadly.